Right, this this is a, a little uh, prologue before we start the review. Um, this is going to be a review for a f the Flashy Vapor, the Fev, uh, which I purchased from Germany. However, you cannot actually, in the UK, you cannot buy one of these from Germany. You have to know somebody who's over six foot tall, rather good looking for his age, and get him to ship it over to you. So Andreas, thank you so, so much. Um, who, Andreas is a fellow cucumber who helped me get a hold of this. Now, the flashy vapour has been around since forever. And, and all the time that I've been doing reviews and things like that, so many people have said, will you get a hold of a flashy vapour? And, and, and it's never happened. Now I have one. And now I'm going to go in the house, I'm going to strip this down, I'm going to take out this coil, this wick, and, and get ready for this review. And it breaks my heart because the build I have in this just now, the way it's performing uh, is just perfect. And, and, and I hope it's just as good as this by the time I've finished doing this review. Uh, right now, it's it's on a Gulliver. This is a Gulliver. This is a dual 26650 mod that was a present from a very nice man. And here we go. There is no law that says that you have to use a ridiculously long mod when you use a flashy vapor, but um, I just that just it does help. Anyway, uh, that's uh, a little uh, that that I, why am I? I don't even know if I'll bother putting this in before the review, but um, yeah, I'm away to strip this down. I'm sorry about the little rant at the front about having to break this down and clean it. It's not really a great hardship in the grand scheme of things. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to keep this video going in the same vein and just... We'll just wing it. We'll just wing it. Now, the one thing I want to make clear before we start discussing this device is that there is a massive, massive fan base for this. So, I, I'm not one of these people that's going to sit here and pretend that I know absolutely everything about this RTA, its history, the different versions, the different variants you can get. I don't. I, I really do not know all that information. The only information I can share with you here is, is the device that I have in front with me, how I have been getting on with it, and what my opinions on it are. Please feel free, if you're a Fev Flashy Vapor fanboy or, or you've been using these devices for years and you have information that you think is relevant, I may have missed, feel free, comment below in the video and share that information because that's what these videos should be about. It's not just one man's opinion, it should be a place where you can share your own opinion and, and let folk know tips and tricks, how they can get the best out of the device the way I am going to coil it, the way I am going to put wick in it, and so on, is what I prefer to do. I'm not saying it's the best way to do it, it's just how I've got on with it. So, the device itself, looking at the my invoice up here, it was 152 euros. That's how much it cost. I also paid 18 euros on top of that to get it across to me. Once again, that was not from the company direct, that was Andreas once again helped me out getting this, which was such a nice thing for him to do. Uh, the device is stainless steel. It's stainless steel, Barcelica glass. It holds 4.5 millilitres of juice. This is the small one. <laughs> it's the small one. They get a lot bigger and you can get a lot more juice in them. This is actually the 4.5 S Plus. That is the version that I actually have. Now, I, I think we'll just, we'll go down. The main thing about this is, is that this is not just a mouth to lung RTA. This goes from true and proper mouth to lung, which it will do very, very well, all the way to full on cloudy, lots of air, lots of, it does it all. And it does it all very, very well. It is not, in my humble opinion, the most elegant of devices. And when I say that, I do not mean that as an insult. It is not 
got lots of bells and whistles. There's no cunning designs going on here. There's nothing that, I mean, you're not going to go, oh my God, I've never seen that before. It, what it does, it just does it really, really well. And, and, I, and at no point in this video can I take that away from it. Mouth to lung, restricted direct lung, direct lung, clouds, it will do, and it will do it very, very well, which is unusual because there are not many devices out there that are a jack of all trades. They usually excel at one thing and are terrible at other things. This one just does it. I think we'll dispense with any more chit chat on my part and then uh, we'll just go for some close-ups. When this arrived, it, it, you know, it comes in a, an, in a little box like this, nothing exciting and uh, opening it up, I found the following. Instructions, uh, telling you to loop all the O-rings before you use the device and also a link to the website where you will get full instructions on how to use the device. Obviously, I've not looked at it. <laughs> I'm sorry. We don't read instructions here. There's also some more instructions here in German and English. I've not read them either. We've got another bag with some wire, rebuildable supplies and uh, this strange stuff here that I've not seen in such a long time. Uh, you also get, this looks like a scent. Uh, this is actually to help you to take, uh, take it to bits basically. I'll show you that in a second. You get some little airflow inserts and here's another one here that I've taken out. Another bag with post screws and spare o-rings galore going on there. There was also another bag that uh, came with two little inserts. Uh, now, you used to, in the past, you would use stainless steel mesh wick uh, for wicking inside a flashy vapour, but they've come out with these little guys and I'll show you them in a second inside the device. And of course, we have the RTA. So, we have flashy vapour etched on here. We have FEV on the supply drip tip up here. It's, uh, it's not a narrow bore drip tip, it's a standard 510 drip tip, dual o-ring affair going on there. You will get a normal 510 drip in there, no problem. We have some knurling here, knurling down the base, and you can see that the 510 does protrude just a tiny, tiny little bit there, but I have no issues with it. And we've got some writing going on here as well. It is 23 millimeters in diameter, holds 4.5 millilitres of juice, and length without the drip tip is 52 millimeters in height. So let's just, we'll, we'll take this to bits. So pulling the drip tip off, you have knurling here. So if I just grab the knurling here, I can then unscrew the tank. There's never an issue separating anything here. It's all done really well. The little penny that came in the bag there, or the scent, uh, that's actually for, you know, it sits inside here. So you can put that in there and you would just use this to unscrew this part here. Obviously I'm just using any old tool that I have to hand. Unscrew that and then everything starts falling to bits here. I do like the way they've designed this. If you, I've never actually, I don't think I've seen this design before. Uh, so there's your post there. See how you've got this section here? It just slides in there and then across and pull it back. It's, it's quite clever that. I like the way they've done that. But we have lots of o-rings going on here. You know, you've got the, your glass sections just going to sit inside there. This sits like that, and I just screw that back on. And that is pretty much it for your tank section. And I'll just tighten this back up. There we go. And once again, this is this is the baby one. This is the baby one. You get much bigger tank options for this device. And the other thing is, if you go along to the actual you know manufacturer's website, you'll see that there are so many accessories available for this tank as well. Now to get into the deck, uh, basically you'll see you've got a little slot just here. So this just pulls apart. Yeah, come on, out she comes. And the only thing you have to do when putting this back together is that you make sure that that tab and this slot here correspond and they go back together no problem. So what happens is you fill this with juice obviously and then this just screws back on here and then you know your deck goes in here. But the juice is like gravity fed. But remember I was talking about those two little inserts. Well, these, what people used to do is put bits of stainless steel mesh down through these pieces here. But now they use these little guys and I'll put up a photo here. And I will say that using heavy VG, 5050 PGVG, uh, I have had no wicking issues with this tank once. And 
even I mean given it some power uh, and it is wicked like a champion the whole time so the juice just comes down through those two little holes there and drips onto your cotton your deck you have your positive and negative it's massive look at this look at the size of this this deck here but uh, you know you're just going to put a coil in here and it's the coil sits above the two screws here and um, it's so so simple but uh, basically what you have is with this version you have these inserts here so you, you could unscrew this here you can see that I've got one unscrewed here so basically with this you now have a dual airflow so I can have air coming from both sides on this tank so just using my crappy calipers that I have here I mean I make that about 2.8 millimeters in diameter so I could have two 2.8 diameter air holes hitting that coil what I could also do is there's no reason why you couldn't put a dual coil build in here and have air coming from both sides and two coils on the go you literally can do pretty much anything with this thing also don't forget you know once your coil is in here if you look at where this is going to sit you can see here that uh, hopefully this makes sense see where the air is you know when that coil's actually sitting above those screws that air is actually smack bang off the side of the coil so even though this is quite a large section this uh, the air is hitting the coil in the right place now regarding these little inserts so what you get is uh, you're going to get one 1.4 millimeter one you'll have two at 2.1 millimeters and you'll also have a 1.2 millimeter that will be mounted when you buy the device so you can go from mouth to lung really i, I mean proper mouth to lung up to a, a good old direct lung now i think there are other inserts available and you can take it down even tighter I, i'm pretty sure there are but um, if anybody knows or if it's on the website i'll you know check out the link in the description now what i'm going to do with this one here is i'm going to take out the the blank insert here and I'm going to have the air coming from both sides and I'm going to use the two 2.1 airflow adapters. So that's me just sticking one in just now. I, I literally have no complaints about any of the threading at all. Uh, the only thing I found an issue was putting these little guys in. Make sure you get them lubed up with uh, e-liquid when you try to put these in. Uh, they can be a bit of a bugger getting them in there. But we'll just pop this second one in here just now. And so there we go, we've got two 2.1s. Now there's nothing elegant about getting a coil in here. Uh, basically you're wanting your wires to go on the inside here. You know, there's quite a gap there. So get your wires going around the inside like this and then clamp it down and well, you'll see what I do in a second. But uh, it's the only thing, there's, there's not a massive amount of space here for clamping wires and there's no there's nothing elegant you know like there's no raised sections you know to to stop the wire spinning out or anything like that it's one thing i would like to see so i'm just going to grab my coil here just now just basically pop her in there and uh yeah we're just we're just going to go for it just bend one leg round there just now bend that other leg round there and we'll pin this down this is uh one of my usual pc coils this is a full ni80 and i'm just bending this just right up here just now so my coils now up I just folded it up there and I'll not lie this is I think this is on the line uh, this this is a fuse clapped and and getting it trapped under there it, it can be a bit of a pain in the backside I just wish these screws were just just designed a little bit better um, it's as basic as basic can be really the design here uh, but um, yeah you can do it and if you were using thin round wire just plain old round wire there's no reason why you couldn't go old school and do a dual coil build here also but uh, I'm going to stick with this just now as far as the cotton goes there's actually no need according to everything I've read and seen there's no need for the cotton to actually come down and sit in the base uh, the, the cotton you know you're being fed from above basically so there's no need for it to you know come down here however I do uh, it's just um, maybe I'm just a creature of habit but you know I'm going to get I think I'm going to get juice dripping down onto the deck eventually so I don't think it hurts personally having you know some cotton coming down just over the screws and just barely touching the deck here 
if I was running it just with a single air hole, I do actually use more cotton and, you know, just kind of like fill one side of the deck with cotton. I just think it reduces the chamber a little bit in size as well. But go and watch videos, you know, everybody's doing it differently. So that's my build in there and that's how I've done the cotton. Now once again, as I said, they say you don't need to have the cotton down there because, see the, the ends of these little inserts? You know, the, cotton, the, the juice is going to come through these holes here and that's going to basically be touching the cotton here. So that's how it's fed. It's not fed from the deck. The only reason I'm doing this is just because I'm a creature of habit and, and that's just kind of like what I like to do. So this is just going to sit straight back on here like this. Pop that down. That's that finished with. Fill this up with some juice, which is incredibly easy to do. Screw this back on here. And there we have one flashy vapour, or fev, whatever you want to call it, ready to go. Now, just checking, I'm on the, the flashyvapor.de website, and true enough, um, from €5.60, uh, they do mouth-to-lung air screws for this device. You can get 0 0.9, 1 mil, and 1.1 mil uh, little inserts, or screws. So if you want to go mouth to lung then they're there but I do think that the the single 1.2 mil is mouth to lung it, it does give you a mouth to lung draw and um, I'm not talking a modern loose-ish mouth to lung but to me it does feel like a good mouth to lung but if you want to go even tighter then those options are available to you Regarding the bill that I put in this just now, now I did use a fuse clapton because I wanted to show that yes you can put a fuse clapton in there it does want to spit that wire back out because those post screws are I was, they're not really designed for fuse claptons, it's as simple as that uh, yes you can get them in there but I don't think it's designed for them uh, yes I've been able to get 24 gauge wire underneath there no problem at all uh, so thick round wire yes it will work it's my one no it's not my one but it's one of my cons if you like um, this is not it, there's nothing, <laughs> this sounds so unfair, but I, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think there's there's nothing new about this device. There's nothing, I, when I vape and look at this device, there's nothing that makes me think that's so 2019. This is bringing something new to the table. I've never seen this before. I've seen all this stuff for years. There's, there's nothing new about this at all. Uh, but as I said at the beginning, it's it's a jack of all trades and, and it seems it does them all very, very well. If anything, I would like to see those post screws updated. Um, you know, you, you'll have seen the, on many other devices, you know, how you have, you, you know, you have this and your screw sits in here. And so, you know, you're, you can clamp your wire on either side. I would like to see that brought into this and maybe make it more user friendly for people that do like using fuse claptons because they will run in this very, very well. So right now I've got those, was it 2.1s? I've got two 2.1s going on here with a 0 0.4 ohm fuse clapton, three millimeter inner diameter. Uh, and uh, we're on the, the, the old boy by no name mods just now. Remember, this is 23 millimeters in diameter, this. And uh, this is just a freshly charged battery. So here's the draw. That is uh, quite a restricted direct lung. And it is that's uh, Nata that I'm using just now, uh, and the flavour from this is superb. Can't fault the flavour from this one bit. It just works really well. And every time I take a draw, I will see bubbles coming up here. And every time I've taken the deck off, the cotton has always been fully saturated. It just wicks well. I've now undone both of those little screws and I'm running fully open on both sides. And don't forget you get a blanking one, a blanking screw as well, so you can just have air coming from one side. Uh, I'm at 40 watts, which for me is unusual for this coil. I'm normally about 25 to 30 watts, but this is just to show you what the device is capable of. You can get, I mean you can hear that, 
I can still get lots of air through that. It's still got an, a hint of a restriction, a nice restriction, and it is keeping up no problem at all and it will continue to wick well also. This really is, um, and I, I, may, I, may, I, may, I may offend people saying this, uh, but um, sorry if you're offended, uh, but give me a second, let me hear the, the pros and the cons. Uh, the cons, if, if you want to look at it this way, is that this is a, this is an old device. In design and styling, this, this to me is old school. There, there's no two ways about it. It feels very old. Um, but in saying that, every build I've put through it, just simple round wires and claptons and um, it is wicked every single time. It has given great flavour and the draw that I want with the corresponding air hole sizes. It ticks every box, it does the job extremely well and I cannot fault the flavour and vapour experience that I get from this device. So even though on one hand I'm saying it, Jesus Christ this is an old bit of gear, it's doing everything that I could ever want from an RTA. And how can that be a bad thing? It's not. It really isn't. Um, once again, it's, it's 4.5 mil capacity. This is the small version. <laughs> this is the small one. And um, I, my cons are, as I said, the screws. I, I wish the screw design was slightly different on the deck to accommodate the bigger wires. And that's all I've got. Con wise, for me, I mean for you, it might be you might hate the looks, you might hate the height of it, you might hate the deck and the way you build on it, but for me, it ticks so many boxes, and I am very, very happy that I bought this. It's not cheap, it's not cheap, um, especially for once again for the for the the design, and f you know it's not cheap at all, but not sorry in the slightest that I bought it. Don't get me wrong, I don't think it's one of these ones you're going to vape at um, you know, 70, 90 watts and whatnot. Um, whilst it wicks really well um, at a, a, you know, a restricted direct lung, a slightly restricted direct lung, I, I, it doesn't keep up when you bump the wattage right up with heavy duty coils. It just doesn't keep up. But in that instance, then maybe you might want to go back to, you know, using the mesh straws and things like that and see if that works. Uh, that is not something I have done. That is something that um, maybe the more experienced flashy vapor vapors could help you with. But for me, the 35, 40 watts uh, with both out, I am... Yeah, it's working great. I can understand why people love these things. I get it. I really do get it. Um, and and I'm happy that people like what they've got. But um, I'll... Once again, I do not regret buying it. The vapour, the flavour, everything is fantastic. But you just you walk into this with both eyes open. You are not getting a design that is something new and amazing. This is, for me, is a very old school design. But it's working oh so well. And on that note, I'm going to go. Andreas, thank you so, so much, my friend. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. And uh, to you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, bye for now.